been off the chain, man. You would have been off the chain. And I, I hear that question a lot. A lot of people on the internet ask that question. Really? Like say, you know, say like on Twitter, you know, if, if Pimp C was on Twitter, what would he, you know? Yeah, I, I see that a you lot. You see that a lot? Yeah, because everybody know they're going to get the real from him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. When you think about, and and, and I ain't going to hold you too much longer, but I'm going to get get down in there a little bit more. Um, <laughs> when you think about, like, uh, you see all of the different things that, that's going on for us with, you know, like uh, – podcasting and people everywhere doing everything. What do you think Pimp would be fitting in this whole thing right now? Because this would be crazy. I remember his last radio interview that I seen that caused noise. Uh, he, uh, I don't know, man. He, he'd probably be at 900,000 subscribers right about now. <laughs> <laughs> if not more than that, Jack. Right, right, right. If not more than that. Nah, he, he would have been off the chain, man. He would have been off the chain. And I, I hear that question a lot. A lot of people on the internet ask that question. Really? Or like say, you know, say like on Twitter, you know, if, if Pimp C was on Twitter, what would he, you know? Yeah, I, I see that a you lot. You see that a lot? Yeah, because everybody know they're going to get the real from him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah. Gonna, I think people love that. On. Yeah. About just wanting to hear yeah. the real deal instead of all this fakeness. Yeah. Um, when he did Quit Hating the South and all that other stuff, what did you think? No, I understood exactly what he was talking about. Explain. Uh, just coming, you know, the East Coast looking down on the South Coast. Uh, pretty much how the songs say, you know, they be riding horses down here, you know. But uh, I don't think I don't think the whole East Coast looks at us like that. But I think at that time, see, I had I hadn't experienced what he experienced in the music business. You know, I understood what he was talking about, but. I didn't walk his shoes. So, you know, the way he told the story was from how, how he walked through it. Mm -hmm. And once he, once he told the story, then I understood, you know. Do you think that, do you think that it was a hard track? Oh my God. It was needed for me. I loved it. Cause I, I seen it. Oh, being a, a older cat, I, 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 I seen the disconnect and the way that they would, they still do it somewhat today. It's not as hard. They can't get away with it because of the internet. The internet's something else. It just let whoever be who they're going to be, and ain't nothing you could do about it. But if it was a way they could make it biased, like I, that statement I told you earlier about 50 Cent mm -hmm. and Lil Wayne, like that kind of stuff was, it, it, you wouldn't be able to control it as much because right. the internet can see it all. You can't hide it. Yeah. But it, back in the day, you could control those narratives a little better, don't you think? Yeah. Because you didn't have the technology to keep up with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just like the internet has blown everything wide open. It's getting rid of the gatekeepers. Yeah. All kind of good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you say all kind of good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Gatekeepers, man. There's a lot of gatekeepers. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.